one. Hello everyone. First, I would like to thank Ministry of Education, Ministry of Tribal Affairs, MOE's Innovation Cell, AICT and CBSE for giving us an opportunity to train the CBSE school teachers about the intellectual property rights under the Innovation Ambassador Program. As you all are aware, the program was launched by Honorable Minister of Education Sri Dharmendra Pradhanji along with the Honorable Ministry of Tribal Affairs Sri Arjun Mullaji on 16th of July 2021 to lay out the foundation for getting our school teachers trained in innovation and related areas. I, on behalf of Veraspire, would like to really appreciate such strong vision of making Bharat, Ar Bharat Arnirbar from its roots and reach the goal of becoming a $5 trillion economy as envisioned by our Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji. I would like to welcome all the participants and congratulate each one of us as we become a part of such a history in making where 50,000 school teachers would be trained in these pressing areas. Having said that, I would like to introduce Verispy Technologies, which would be your partner in this enticing journey of the IP world. Verispy trainers will equip you in all basics of IP rights or Bodhik Sampada, thereby building an innovative culture in schools starting at a grassroots level. Team has developed one of its kind app, that is Patsy Learning, available as a web app on Android as well as iOS. It would cater to all innovation and IP learning needs. Veraspire has a legacy of 15 years in the IP industry. Veraspire is also an Indian startup having subsidiaries in the USA and Canada. It serves clients in more than 20 countries where the clients ranges from startups to corporates, law firms, academic institutions, individual inventors, researchers, and the list goes on. In short, wherever the innovation and inventions are happening. That brings me to an interesting discussion about invention and innovation. Do you know what is the difference between the innovation and the invention? Invention is the creation of a process or a product, while innovation is the use or an improvement or any significant contribution in the existing product or a process or a service. You know, uh, there are a lot of teen startups coming up from the schools nowadays, and that is the another foremost reason to educate everyone in the basics of innovation and IP rights. Verispire is one of the prime service provider that aids inventors or innovators from ideation to get the IP registered and commercialize the same. Now, the question arises, why do we need IP in school? So many a times, a child is curious about an object, such as his or her toy, and then limitless questions comes across the child's mind, such as how it is built, how it works, etc etc also sometimes the child wants to break the toy to see if its machinery or working is simply or simply uh, to see what's inside but we as parents or mentors ask the child not to deform the toy with this approach uh, we are limiting the child's thinking ability rather we should help them to look into the toy and explain its working or let them explore the toy themselves to innovate. Through this approach, I believe we nurture the creativity of children as new ideas and develop the thinking or the innovative capabilities at a very young age. Then there will be a good chance that we will be setting a strong and innovative foundation for the future generation of our country. This type of education, I believe, is the need of an hour. All of you will be surprised to know that in majority of the developed countries, knowledge dissemination of innovation and entrepreneurship, IPR, starts as, as in you know, very early age as in primitive years. Further, once they generate this type of thinking to invent and innovate, 
then there is a need to learn about IPR and to secure their inventions and innovations. And not only to secure their IP, but also to have a regard and respect the efforts of others, including the school teachers, in generating their IP. Don't you think this is bound to have a huge impact in developing the economic quotient of the society and in turn benefit the inventor or a researcher's community? The schools play a very vital role in developing a knowledge-based economy as we are growing. Schools are the powerhouses of knowledge and acts as a platform in developing and creating innovative culture for creating and generating solutions for the problems of the society that we are facing. But here we are talking about innovation and innovative thinking. We should ask ourselves a question that is a very important question. That's why it is important to make the students think innovative. Innovative thinking is not something that we can be measured or there is any hard or fast rule for its measurement. However, as per the current education system, the innovative thinking is an important as is as important basically as the grades of a student. Most importantly, it is a concept which must be encouraged in class to produce creative minds. And now, how the school teachers can introduce innovation in the classroom? So there must be having some ways to inculcate a nature of creativity and innovative thinking in the students. But how can the school teachers succeed in this? So there are different ways or different steps in which we can help a student to think innovative. So first and foremost is to give a challenge to a student regarding or giving them a problem statement that is both authentic and an interesting part. The problem uh, statement can be detected from our day to day activities for each student and that problem may be of his or her interest. So the student will think of coming up with a solution for the detected problem, such as a problem can be related to the online teaching or learning techniques the students or the teachers are that are facing due to pandemic or creating a device for detecting a concentration level of a student. As the pandemic has changed the way of teaching for the teachers and the learning from the teachers and to the students. Now, the teachers should also give the basic or discuss the basic uh, information with the students. Based on the problem statements that we have assigned to the student, a teacher can share his or her basic information and knowledge regarding the problem statement with the student. So maybe a 5 to 10 minutes discussion will be enough to give a boost to the student. Also, while discussing the same, we must also encourage the student to research independently. Once they start exploring the information themselves, maybe from the internet, such as Wikipedia or online message boards and so on, they will have a pool of data that might help them to have a clear and logical understanding of their problems. And they provide a way for its solution and to research for its solution. Next step is to have regular discussions and monitoring to understand whether the student have understood the concept or not, or they are struggling through any queries or not. And we must also ensure the student to find innovative ideas that we use for everyday uses or everyday objects that we are using. I'm sure these approaches has already been done in the design thinking module. Now, the question arises, what are we supposed to do with the proposed solutions? We need to secure the solution from the problem before anyone else. But we must also aware of whether the solution can be secured or not. As per the Indian Patent Law Act, the Section 3 and 4 specifically state the exclusions to what can be patented in India. Even before diving into the criteria, it is important to understand the meaning of an invention and what can be patented. According to the Section 2J of the Indian Patent Act, an invention means anything new, a new product, a new process involving an inventive step and has the capability of an industrial application. And the inventions protected under the patent law referred to as patented. 
so there are some criteria which determine whether the solution can be patented or not in india so the criteria which we have for the patentability is the the patentable patentable subject matter the novelty the inventive step or the non obviousness of the invention the capability of the industrial application so these are the statutory criteria for the patentability of an invention or a solution now there are different types of ips as well apart from the patents that are copyrights trademarks uh, trade secrets geographical indication and etc so the these right now these may sound a bit over the board but soon you will be taken through the whole course in the upcoming sessions finally wishing everyone all the best to complete the course successfully and become ministry of education certified school innovation ambassadors thank you so much